Hello everyone, I'm The Lesson Hacker and welcome to the Craig and Dave channel where we take the tangled mess of tech concepts, unravel them and turn them into something useful. Now today we're diving into the ultimate of first world problems, chargers. Why do we have so many? Why are none of them the same? And is the UK about to save us from this chaos? Oh, just make things worse. Let's find out. So. The UK government is pondering whether to hop on the EU's bandwagon and adopt a common charging standard, specifically USB-C. They're asking, should we do it? Should we enforce one charger to rule them all? One ring to rule them all. Sounds simple enough, right? But as with all things tech, it's never quite that simple. First up, let's talk about why USB-C is even a thing. If you've been using tech for a while, you've probably experienced the wild west of charging standards. Micro USB, mini USB, lightning cables, proprietary stuff from companies that just had to be a little bit different. USB-C though came along with a dream. A dream of one cable that works for everything. Your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your toaster. Okay, maybe not your toaster, but you get the idea. USB-C charges faster, transfers data quicker, and is reversible. No more fumbling in the dark trying to figure out which way is up. Bliss. Sounds great, right? But, well, here's the thing. Not all USB-C ports are created equal. Take a look at your mate's MacBook and compare it to your budget Android phone. Same port, different power. MacBooks might have USB-C for Thunderbolt, which gives you an insane data speed and can even connect to things like external graphics cards. But your cheap phone? Well, not so much. You get a basic USB-C, which isn't bad, but it's not mind-blowing. So whilst the port might be universal in shape, what it does isn't the same. Confusing, right? Now the UK is thinking about making USB-C the standard here, just like the EU did. This means all your new devices would come with a USB-C port. Nice and simple, and theoretically, you could use one charger for everything. No more clutter. But does it even matter if the UK does this? Well, honestly, not really. Companies are already switching over to USB-C because the EU, the US, and India are all getting on board with it. Apple had to swallow its pride and ditch the lightning cable with the iPhone 15. So whatever the UK decides, USB-C is going to be the industry standard worldwide. The question is more, when will it happen here? And let's not forget the environmental impact. One of the big reasons for adopting USB-C is to cut down on e-waste, with fewer charges being made and thrown away. We save on materials and the planet can breathe a little easier. There are like 600 million unused cables in the UK right now. 600 million. That's a serious cable graveyard. Brian, is that mainly you? I've seen all those boxes you've got labeled as cables around your house. I'm sure. USB-C will help reduce that pile, but in the short term, we might actually see more e-waste as everyone tosses away their old lightning and micro USB cables in the bin. But let's be honest, how many of us actually recycle cables? Exactly. On the other hand, there's a potential downside to all this standardization. Innovation could slow down. Imagine if we'd locked into a charging standard 10 years ago. We would all have gotten, would we have even gotten to USB-C in the first place? Forcing every device to use the same port might mean manufacturers don't push for something better. I mean, Apple's lightning cable was once cutting edge, and now it's basically tech's answer to Betamax. Look it up, Gen Z. It was a thing. Well, kind of. And let's not forget the whole issue of charging speeds. Even with USB-C, not all chargers are equal. You could grab a cheap cable from the local shop, but when you plug it into your laptop, it's about as useful as trying to charge it with a potato. Nan, you need to charge your phone, love. What's going on? What do you mean it's a USB-B cable? Nan, that's your printer, that's not a phone, love. So whilst you might have one universal port, you'll still need to figure out which USB-C cable actually does what you need. Classic tech, always finding a way to keep things just a little bit confusing. So will USB-C be the one charger to rule them all? One ring to rule them all. And finally tidy up the rat's nest of cables we've been living with? Maybe. It's certainly going to be the default for a while, whether the UK decides to enforce it or not. But don't throw away all those old cables just yet. You'll need something to tie your plants to the fence in the garden, right? To summarize, the UK is considering adopting USB-C as the standard charger, following the EU's lead, to simplify device charging and reduce e-waste. USB-C offers fast charging and data transfer, but varies in performance across devices with Thunderbolt being a higher speed option for some. While this standardization aims to reduce clutter and e-waste, it could potentially slow down future innovation in charging technology. Ultimately, most companies are already switching to USB-C due to global regulations, so the UK's decision might not matter much in the long run. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech breakdowns because when it comes to chargers, the real question isn't which one you need, 
but which one you haven't yet lost down the back of the sofa. See you next time. One day I'll get this right first time. <laughs>